Hello, everyone, and thanks for tuning in. First of all, I want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate y'all's support. Currently at 583 subscribers. The goal is 1,000 subscribers. We reached 500 about a week and a half ago. Again, I appreciate y'all's support. Um, I've been trying to post a poll for the contest, so I apologize for the delay. The issue is, is, is that I have to go through some things with YouTube. They have to verify my account, which could take up to a week or so. So I just have to wait for that. Tried to do it a long time ago. I guess, you know, I waited too long to respond to the email. So I have to wait. I filed my ID and everything. So again, please be patient. I will be still doing that giveaway for 500 subscribers. So I appreciate y'all support. So yes, for this video, I would appreciate it if you please leave a like, share, subscribe, leave a comment below, turn on notifications so you know when I drop the next video. This is Straight to the Point Tech. Hello, everyone. I'm back again with a new video. For today's video, I have a goodie. So this has been an application that has been buzzing around for about a month or so. Now it's starting to make more noise. I had to find out what all the hype was about and test it myself. But for all of the MSI Claw 8 AI Plus owners um, and the MSI, you know, 7-inch owners, as well as I believe the MSI um, Claw A8, right? So the AI 8 Plus, the A8, and the 7-inch uh, Claw there's an application called Tooth and Claw. Now, this is a handy application. I'm going to show you how I'll install it and everything. But this allows you better custom mobility opportunities for your device or abilities, rather, over the MSI Center. We'll go over it in a second. But I wanted to introduce it to you all and show you how to uh, install it and set it up. So without further ado, let's get straight to it. All right. So what you're going to, going to do is go to the Windows Store. So we'll open a Windows Store up, and then we'll type in an application name called Tooth and Claw. So you'll see it right here. So is this application right here called Tooth and Claw? I don't know if you can see it. Go ahead and install that. It should take about maybe like less than 20 seconds or so. It's not a big application. So go ahead and install that Tooth and Claw app, and then I'll show you how to uh, set up the rest. All right, so once you have that Tooth & Claw application installed on your MSI Claw 8 AI Plus, go ahead and hit the MSI settings button and go ahead and hit the right, the RB, right bumper button up top here. And you're gonna go all the way over, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. You will see an application uh, that says Tooth & Claw Performance, right? This is a goodie right here. So. This allows you better TDP control over your device, better FPS. This will also help improve battery life. So this is your one-stop shop. Instead of you having to go to the MSI center to adjust your settings, but things are a little bit better here because you have more customability for your device, right? So for example, you have CPU boost mode. This is great for... Um, other multitasking things you'll do on your device, like video editing and stuff, it really doesn't help if you're going to be gaming full time, but it helps use the cores better on your CPU or iGPU rather, if you are going to be doing editing and gaming and a whole bunch of other stuff. If not, don't worry about enabling this, keep it disabled as it does help gaming better. Um, and then you have a, what you call frame sync. Now, you really don't need to do this because the device automatically, the AI within this uh, chip will adjust your VRR and everything accordingly. Now, if you want to manually turn it on to test it, you can, but it really doesn't make a difference. Um, you have frame limiter. Scott, sorry, I skipped over that. But uh, frame rate limiter is basically self-explanatory. So if you want to lock your FPS for example, this maxes out at 120, so you can go ahead and do that and lock it at 120, or you could take it all the way down, down and go to 100, or you can go to 60, it's up to you, but we really don't need to use this as we want to maximize our FPS. Now, in most use cases where this does come in handy if you do want better battery life, right? Because here's the thing, anytime you're pushing your CPU and GPU or iGPU harder, via FPS, then you're going to, you know, have to sacrifice battery life, right? But if we utilize less resources within our, you know, CPU and GPU, 
then that means better battery life. So, you know, you can turn this down to 60 frames per second. You can turn it to 80, whatever you want. But um, for me right now, I don't, I, I'm not really worried about that. So I turn it off. And then display resolution, that's self-explanatory. Um, and then you have what you call scale settings. So you can have this right here set to GPU, retro, or display, right? So what this does is, is basically will give you a scaling settings of what games you are playing. Now, hence it says retro, GPU, and display, right? So the three options that you see, display is going to give you the best visual quality, right? GPU is going to give you the best horsepower power when it comes to gaming. And then you have display, which is going to give you the best visual quality. Excuse me. I just want to make sure you guys can see that. So that's what that's for, right? So, you know, I would leave it on display. That's the default. It's really not going to make a major difference in most games um, unless you're playing something that's really, you know, GPU intensive. The default setting is a sweet spot. But if you want to toy with these settings, use it at your discretion. And then we have, you know, endurance gaming target frame right here, which is self-explanatory, right? So this is, in other words, what AI mode would be in the MSI center, right? So it's automatic though. So it adjusts your FPS, the visual fidelity and things accordingly, depending on what's going on in the game, you know, in the background, for example, if you're playing Spider-Man Remaster, you know, and there are certain levels that require GPU and CPU intents power and then there are certain modes where it can be scaled down because you know spider-man isn't doing much you're not moving much so things adjust accordingly so you have these options where you know you can basically set it to performance at 60 fps balance or efficiency self-explanatory this one right here will get you you know stability and good fps this one will get you the perfect medium. I don't like 40 FPS. Like I said, we use these devices, you know, to, to maximize our experience and stuff. We're not trying to play at low settings unless we really have to. And then, you know, again, self-explanatory 30 FPS. If you accept that and you want that, cool. But I'm going to turn this off, you know, because I want to maximize my FPS. But um, play with these two settings right here and see how they pan out for you. I have mine set to all. The XCS low latency, right? So, um, this is to give you um, a uh, boost as far as your uh, CPU. Um, right now, I have it set to off because what this will do is this will give you a boost in power for your CPU cores, but scale down some other settings. Now, again, if you do want to mess with this and toy with this, you use it at your own discretion, but setting it to on will basically give you a lot more CPU horsepower out of the iGPU. And then CPU on, I mean, excuse me, XE low latency on plus boost gives you better power between the iGPU, the CPU aspect and the GPU aspect. So I wanted to make that straight, but that's what that's for. So yeah. And then my final favorite part is Tooth and Claw Color Remaster. So this this one right here is really fun, y'all. So um, I made a video about a month and a half ago or so about getting the best settings on your MSI Claw 8 AI Plus um, visually, you know, in order to match or be on par with OLED. This aspect of everything is on steroids. So this is even better, right? Because you get better full temp color control. So that application that Intel has on this device, um, really you have to tweak a bunch of things here and there. This one, this is just a one-stop shop, you know, and that's it. So currently, you know, I want my device to try to look as close as possible in colors as OLED, right? So I have my saturation set to 60. I have my hue set to you know, default, which is on zero. I have contrast set to 55. I have my brightness set to 60. Now, you know, in most cases, setting it below 50 um, or 55, the screen can get a little dark. So I would go anywhere between 60 to 70. I have mine set to 60. Keep your gamma on 1.3. Uh, keep Intel adaptive sharpening on 15. And then that's it. And then, you know, if you don't like how things look, you can always select reset defaults. But um, other than that, this is a cool little tool. Now, I hear the developers are looking to expand this to make 
it even more intuitive and add other features. So I would, you know, definitely be on the lookout for, you know, um, other features in addition to this. But I figured I would review this with you all so that way you'll be in a loop. And also let you all know, know that I did not forget about the MSR Claw 8 AI Plus. Still one of my favorite handhelds for the, you know, MSR Claw enthusiasts. I'm still here. I still got my baby here. So, yeah. All right. Well, that wrapped this video up. Again, I appreciate y'all's support. Again, um, I'm still doing that giveaway. I have to go through some uh, things with uh, YouTube, uh, their process and some things. So the uh, 500 subscriber giveaway, again, just to reiterate what I said at the beginning of the video, is still here. Um, and yeah, so be on the lookout for more videos. I appreciate y'all's support. Leave a comment below in the video section. Let me know what other videos you would like. Um, this is Straight to the Point Tech. I'm out, and I hope you all have a great weekend. Be safe. Peace.